Okay, uh, this is my first video on doing some very basic drilling. Uh, this one is for footwork. Uh, I've seen and heard some opinions, differing opinions, uh, whether footwork is all that important. I tend to believe that it's very important. Uh, it's something that I try to drill uh, pretty frequently on my own. I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Um, uh, and one of our guys earlier this week uh, expressed some concern that he was having trouble uh, keeping and maintaining the one step, one strike uh, method that we try to practice uh, when it you know, during sparring or whatever. And so I thought I would do uh, this for my first video because it's practicing that is something that I do quite a bit. Um, I'm a big believer in drilling the very, very basic uh, elements of movement in a screamer. Uh, Lots of ways to do this, I'm sure. Um, some of them very simple. Uh, I'm sure there are some that are very complex. Uh, what I've been doing happens to be very, very simple. Um, really all I will do is um, take a pick a side, left hand, right hand, um, grab a, a stick or you know a knife trainer. I'll start out <clears throat> and I'll only, I'll just walk back and forth in a line or do laps around something. And whichever side I'm holding my weapon with, uh, I'll only strike when that foot hits the ground. And then at some point I'll switch and uh, only strike when the opposite foot hits the ground. And then I'll switch hands and uh, repeat the repeat the process with my weapon in the other hand. And then at some point, I'll work on uh, striking whenever each foot hits the ground. Um, weapon <clears throat> weapon on both sides. Um, so I'm going to do just a few reps of what I do. Uh, if you have any suggestions on what I might do to improve the exercise or if there's something that you do that might be just as effective that you would like to share, please let me know. Um, I'm always open to learning new methods for doing things. Um, so here we go.
and of course, uh, as you get more comfortable doing that, I always suggest going incredibly slow at first until you get used to the movements. As you get more comfortable with it, you can start speeding up and you know speed up until you get out of sync. And then I'd suggest starting over, going very slow, and slowly work up to going faster and faster until you get out of sync and then start back over. Um, spend a fair amount of time on that. Um, you know, it's different for everyone, but the longer you do it, uh, the more often you practice it. Eventually, uh, you'll just do it without even thinking about it, um, which is what we all want, I'm sure. And uh, anyway, yeah, give that a try and let me know how it goes.